Well, it's that time again. Just for you guys, we're going out my way to produce you another painter's prizes. Just to give you an idea of what you should be roughly getting in 2021 um, for a particular type of plot. Just to give you an idea, that's all, that's all it is. Because you know, it all depends whereabouts you are in the country and who you're working for will depend on what you get. Now then, this is a four bedroom, three storey plot. Um, it's already base coated, mist coated, whatever you want to call it. I, I don't do that. And um, I don't pay for materials either. I just get a price to paint it, come in, paint it, get out. Um, so yeah, no base coat, no materials, nothing. Just, just, just for painting it. I've just repeated myself there, haven't I? But hey, not to worry. Um, yeah. So what I'm going to do now is show you around this particular plot, and at the end I'm going to tell you how much I got paid for it and how long it took me. Without further delay, let's crack on and show you around. So this is the entrance hall right front door is painted inside and out so coat of satin on the inside under coat and gloss uh, in a colour on the outside so I have to do that with the price because that's the only out, outside bit to paint uh, this is what it's like when you come in yep you got your stairs up there you got a uh, oak handrail which has to be varnished i take them off otherwise it's hours of masking up and pure headache right so we'll start off with the downstairs toilet they're the type of doors quite straightforward and easy to do brush around the mouldings and roll the room to a finish that's what they want so that's what they get Downstairs toilet, you've got seven inch skirting boards downstairs. White ceilings, colour on the wall, just been touching up. So there you go, pretty straightforward. Consumer unit there. Yep. Uh, like, like you've probably seen, I do a lot of the spraying in uh, around the woodwork, etc. I drop the rads and spray behind the rads. So there's your stairs. Nice straightforward spindles, better than the old days when there used to be them oval things. Remember, under stairs covered. Uh, I don't know if can get them. Yep. There you go. They're actually brown before I get them doors. These half doors, like a brownie class three coat them obviously. Under stairs covered, that's all sprayed out, plugs are all masked off. Yeah, so, come down here, first room, lounge, kitchen's not fitted yet, not in the lounge obviously, but kitchen's not fitted, so big bonus, good size room, yeah, good size room, into the kitchen area, that's where the kitchen's going, obviously. Makes it a lot quicker when you ain't got a cut all around the up stand on the unit. Patio doors. I don't know if this is a kitchen diner or not. Now, this bit I'm going to show you now is actually um, extra. I've done the same plot before, but all this. It did sweep it out, why I miss this bit, I don't know. This bit and the room in there is extra from the last plot, so slightly different design. This is a um, utility room. So all that gets fitted out there. And then you got a big room in here. Good size room. As you can see. But yeah, the last plot was 1,400 square foot. 
This is just over 16, so a couple of hundred square foot bigger. So this one's a bit more money from the last one, because all that was extra. Up the stairs, still got quadrant to fit. I don't know why they leave it till last, I really don't. Little bit of passing to be done, but yeah, it's just cosmetic, you know what I'm saying? There's the stairs. So, here's your landing. <sighs> Sun in the cupboard. The size of that, Jesus. Yeah, I'll show you the first room. Bedroom one. Nice walking area. There it is. There's the Amrails, all varnished, water based varnish. Good size room again. Little bit of a, this bit, this, this bit here. It's a little bit extra compared to the last plot. I did the same plot, but without these little extra rooms. So this is extra from the last plot. And then you got the ensuite. Nice. Little shower that comes out of the ceiling, quite well, I know I do, nice of this. So yeah, bedroom one. And as you can see, good old size room. Got ensuite there. That little walkway, quite like that as well, it's a nice little feature, isn't it? Bedroom one, bedroom two, my store. Good size room again. Decent size. These plots I'm working in here are very deceiving. Outside look small, get inside, they're massive. So here's the other bedroom anyway. All the bedrooms have got en suites. It is. Yeah. Not nice though, isn't it? The bedroom two. Stairs, so the unrail goes on there. Oak cappings and stuff on there. Bedroom three, smaller room, probably for the kids. Still decent size, but a bit smaller. Yeah. Bathroom in this one. So I don't know whose room this would be actually, because you've got a bathroom, not an ensuite. Bit weird, isn't it? No, no separate bathroom. And yeah, so you've got a bathroom coming off this small bedroom. Hmm, strange. But yeah, that's three. There's all your stairs. Stairs do not take long. I know they look a lot, but they do not take very long to do. Here's your other room. Here's going up the stairs, massive stairwell. I don't know why, but it is. And like I've said in one of the previous videos, I, I just do all this wall, the ceiling, all that in the same color because it's, I, I just, I, I'm about four inches too short, height wise, obviously. Um, and I just can't reach a bit there. So uh, I just paint it all up in the same colour. And you got your boiler cupboard. Spray all that out, as you can see. Another cupboard in here. Bit of patching still to be done. Same old story, innit? Oh, plaster patches, you never get them. Billion dollar companies, and they only employ about four patches. Makes you laugh, doesn't it? And here's bedroom four, which I presume is the main bedroom. Uh, I do think you need to be about 25 year old to run up and down these stairs all day long. But lovely feature. Nice dormer window. All the house is going up there, look. Yeah. Good size room. En suite, so you got all your cupboards there. En suite, if this is going to be a master room. Shower. Relix light. Yeah, it's alright, isn't it? So, there you have it. A four bedroomed, three storey property. 
Um, now this particular plot, it's just got a few extra rooms, as I've already said, that is different from the last plot. So basically I'm doing the same plot with a few extra rooms. There is a price difference to that, but not much difference in the time it took me to paint it. So a bit of a bonus, uh, near enough done, a little bit bigger house with a, a bigger price ticket to it. So anyway, it's took me seven days to paint that particular plot because I'm not in the same plot now, as you can see from the kitchen. The price I got for it was 1,900 pounds. Brilliant. Now, you know, I have done a lot of spraying with that. Um, so even if you based a day's wages on 200 pound a day at seven, that's only 14, so I've gained 500 quid on that plot, which is very nice, thank you very much. Um, compared to the last plot, without them extra rooms, uh, the price on the, the last one was 1,700. Um, so I'm like now, I made money on the last ones, quite decent money, but this one's even better because it's 200 quid on top and roughly the same sort of time frame to paint it. So yeah, that, that's about it. Um, although they are three story plots and it looks like there's a lot of rooms, etc, etc, um, they're not as hard as you think. So yeah, seven days, 1900 quid lads. Happy days, might stick some more money in my stocks and shares, you know what I mean? Hey. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the content of this video. If you have, don't forget to like, subscribe and share. From yours truly, keep the flame burning.